All right, so let's move back into the NFL. Um, we got Commanders coming up short. Uh, their first loss in a couple weeks, so they were on a nice little run there. Um, and 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 they got hard. They they didn't they didn't get blown off the field. Uh, twenty three thirty to the Rams is not a bad it's not a bad look. Uh, Jane Daniels did 24-35, two touchdowns, no picks. That's a solid, solid game from a rookie. Uh, offense rookie of the year, according to Antonio Turner. Uh, yeah. Add 22 more yards to that. That puts him at roughly 300 yards total between the run and the pass. Austin Eckler with 21 on the rush, 47 on in the air. Zach Ertz, a name I haven't heard in forever. Uh, 62 yeah, yards. <laughs> what you say? He should have been retired about four years ago. I was going to say, Zach Ertz. I'm like, <laughs> them Scary Terry yards right there. If Zach Ertz right. wasn't, wasn't in the way, you know, Scary Terry had well over 100 yards. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll take the 53 with two touchdowns, but we'll take we'll take it. You know, Scary oh. Terry doing Scary Terry things. I ain't mad at it. Uh, on the other side, though, the winners, um, Lamar Jackson, 20-26, 323, one touchdown, one pick on the pass. And we go down to rush. We got Derrick Henry doing Derrick Henry type things. Uh, one thirty two, <laughs> two touchdowns. How you win the game? <laughs> With Lamar giving him forty on the cleanup, and uh, Zay Flowers one hundred thirty two yards and receive leading receiving core with Rashad Bateman seventy one and Mark Andrews sixty six and a touchdown. No Isaiah likely this week. Uh, your thoughts on that, Tom? Uh, arguably, you could say Jay does have a better game than Lamar. Who? I said Daniels arguably had a better game than Lamar. That's not arguable. That's 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 not even debatable, sir. That's well, I'm say arguably because he threw from Lamar threw more yards. But I'm I'm looking at. The, I mean, I, I get that, but I'm and he only, Lamar only missed six passes. So Lamar I'm made a pick that. as well. So yeah. they didn't have no picks either. So I mean, I, I'm looking at how efficient he was. Yeah. So what? Well, yeah, have, more, yeah, over 100 more yards though. That's the difference. I, I got you. I, I, yeah. Like, but it was a great game from Jane Daniels. In my nah, opinion. for a rookie. Like everybody I talked to said the commanders lost, but. But it was respectful. <laughs> it was respectful. Exactly. You know, they say there's a, no uh, respectable losers. That's a nah, respectable loss. Th there is such thing as silver lining. It's like if you look at what the commanders are building, and correct me if I'm wrong, isn't Magic Johnson one of the owners of this team? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I was talking to somebody. I said, you know, Matthew Johnson, everything he touches is gold. Matty Johnson is a, a winner. Yeah, I said everything he does, everything he buys into or makes, Starbucks, whatever. Sidebar. <laughs> uh sidebar. I know we're not talking he, NBA at the moment, yeah, but Matty Johnson's roster is who won the last championship for the Lakers. True. That's true. I'm just saying, because the, the GM, when he was the GM, yeah. he was yeah, he was you know GM. That was his roster he constructed. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah, so about right. I'm just gonna throw that out there. I mean, everything yeah, Maddox right. done from college all the way up, he's won at literally every level. He got a piece of the Dodgers, bro. I mean, it's not even a big piece, but he got a piece of the Dodgers. Just his presence there. Yeah, no question. Um, do you see the Ravens winning the AFC? This year, I think the Ravens are the best team in the AFC. Is that just because Derrick Henry, or they were already there last year? I think Derrick Henry made them the best team in the AFC. They would have been, they probably would have been second if the Chiefs didn't get hurt. That's fair. That's the problem. The Chiefs would be the best team. I don't like the Chiefs, but had, when you're right, you're right. I don't like the Chiefs. If they had Rice and Pacheco, they're the best team. I know they haven't lost the game, but that's not going to sustain. When you ain't got two of your best players, I don't know what you're talking. I don't care what they say. You can't rely on a, on Worthy to, to carry you to the promised land. He's not even they you they now you seeing the reassurgence of Travis Kelsey. That's what's going on. Basically, that's basically what's going on. Got, they got Juju looking like an all star again, all pro. He's been done for years, but we're gonna leave Juju that had like 150 yards last couple weeks ago when they last played. Yeah, we gonna yeah. Yeah. I said, what in the world? Do you know what I'm saying? And I can just get a ball Derrick Henry or Lamar running the ball. I'll take that one over where the Kansas City got. No, you <laughs> literally said it like two weeks ago. You said the only reason Juju's even looking like this is because everybody's hurt. That's the only reason he even got a, a contract this year. Well, he was released. That's what I'm saying, but they had to bring him he back. Wasn't because he was on uh, New England. Right. And they released him and Kansas City said, oh, Rice is down. We need a receiver. We'll, we'll take him back. Yeah, he know the system. So you that's know the system. 
He, he helped get us another ring. Hey, let's go ahead and bring him back, man. Mm -hmm. And we're going to talk about receivers that are moving teams, too. We got to address that, too. Yeah. Big, <laughs> big receiver movement in the NFL this week. Great we, receiver movement. Oh, yeah. I like I, it. I know you're excited. We'll, we'll, get, we'll get there. We're going to get there.